Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome to my craft room. It's a shaker Sunday kind of day, so let's make a shaker card together. I'm going to be using some Pretty Pink Posh supplies. I have some old and new goodies. So I have the Penguin Pals stamp set and the Winter Frame die, and those are from a previous release. And then the recent release, I have the layered snowflake stencils as well as the Winter Snowflakes clay confetti mix. So we're going to start with the background because it's going to need the longest time to dry so I have some Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm going to layer it behind stencil A which has the largest snowflakes and I'm going to use some mint tape to just help me keep that in place behind my stencil and for the larger snowflakes I'm going to grab my favorite ink for some reason I've been just grabbing this so many times for snowflakes is salvage patina and then when I layer on the B stencil which is slightly smaller snowflakes I'm going to use broken china and I'm picking colors that to me look like they match really well with the winter snowflakes clay confetti and for the last step I'm actually grabbing uh, the teal out of the Nutcracker Ballet Ombre set from Picket Fence Studios this is called paper glaze I know surprise I didn't grab lunar paste but I wanted to add some even darker snowflakes they kind of reminded me of Uncharted Charted Mariner, uh, that same kind of dark blue vibe. So I went ahead and used those to uh, add the smallest snowflakes and I'm going to set it aside to dry. I have a piece of this kind of light teal, awfully close to salvage patina paper from the Peppermint A2 Smooth cardstock paper pad. And I added some broken china and uncharted mariner along the edges of this cardstock. And I'm grabbing the winter frame die. Now it is exactly A2 as well, it's a cover plate. So I'm going to use some mint tape to help me center that piece of cardstock to the A2 size die and that way I know it won't move and it will cut perfectly on that same A2 size. So now that that is out of my die cut machine I'm just going to use my little pick tool here to pull off the mint tape off the back of the frame on both sides and then I'm going to punch out the middle of my winter frame die and then I will pull off the frame and then off camera poke out any of the little extra pieces that might be stuck uh, due to the intricate um, die pattern on this A frame die. Now I wanted to give you an update on my LED lights. I know they're kind of flickery still. I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to try buying some different LED lights that are supposed to be non-flickering. So I hope that helps with my lights as I jump from frame to frame. Um, hopefully that helps. I'm going out of town at the time of recording this video, so I will order them when I get back. So hopefully my next couple videos give me some patience, but after that, hopefully the lights will look better. I'm going to find a good solution that doesn't make my room 150 degrees. <laughs> okay, so this is how my frame turned out. I love it. It's matching my snowflake colors and I'm very happy about it. I'm grabbing some acetate. This is from scrapbook.com. They are five by six. So I'm just going to grab a marker and make a couple marks where I need to trim this piece of acetate. So I'm grabbing my little mini trimmer that I keep next to my desk and I'm just cutting off those excess pieces. So that way this acetate piece will fit perfectly perfectly behind my frame. I'm grabbing my 1 8 of an inch thick adhesive roll. This is also from scrapbook.com and I put it on all four sides of my frame, peeled off the release paper, and now I'm going to layer that acetate to the back side of that beautiful winter frame die. I love all the different shapes on the front of this die. Now I'm going to add my foam adhesive strip so that way I can create my shaker. I'm using a thicker foam adhesive strip because it will ensure that my little bits inside will have plenty of room to move around. If you don't have this thick of foam adhesive strips, you could just double up what you already have in your stash. I'm going to go around all four sides of my frame and then just trim off any excess that will stick out the side. And I made sure that anytime I had to add a new strip that they were butted really close together so there are no gaps in my foam adhesive. I'm pouring in a healthy amount of that Winter Snowflakes Clay Confetti Mix from Pretty Pink Posh and now I can 
put my two sides of my shaker together. I'm going to grab my Misty because it will help me with lining up my corners. Um, this is when I realized that I put the wrong side of my shaker into my Misty. So I want to put the side that has all the confetti in it and then using that bottom right hand corner to line up my two sides of my shaker. And I'm going to press firmly down around that foam adhesive, make sure it is nice and stuck together. And I have my shaker panel. I love having a full E2 shaker panel. I think it's a lot of fun for the card receiver. Okay, so let's stamp out a couple of those cutie pie penguins from the Penguin Pals stamp set. I'm going to do a little bit of masking, so I'm going to grab a post-it note as well because I want one of my penguins to have this adorable little beanie on his head. I'm going to be using River Rock from Lawn Fawn, which is in alcohol marker friendly ink. I want to get some pastel vibes to these penguins. So I wanted to use a gray ink instead of a black ink when coloring in these images because I think that will help the kind of pastel feel that I am going for for these images. So I'm going to clean off my little beanie and as you can see I already stamped it on a post-it note and I'm just going to trim around the beanie. I'm only going to cut along the edge of the beanie where it overlaps with the penguin and I'm cutting almost directly on the line. I'm just really getting snug up to that stamped line and then I am going to layer that onto my white cardstock here. This is uh, alcohol marker friendly cardstock so it blends really well together. And then I'm lining up that penguin where it looks like he will be wearing the beanie and then I'm going to stamp that with the same gray ink. So let's take a look at how my little penguin looks. He's so cute. <laughs> I love the beanie on him so much. I have another penguin with a scarf on and I'm just going to stamp that one. I'm going to go ahead and skip through it uh, just because I'm directly stamping with the gray ink right onto that uh, marker friendly paper. So let's zoom in. I'm going to jump really quick through my coloring. Like I said, I've been playing a lot with my pastel markers. These are from Oh, who, who? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I really should look it up before I do my voiceover. But I got them on Amazon really cheap. They're non refillable markers, but I just really wanted to expand the pastels in my collection. So I'm quickly jumping through my coloring. If you have any questions, I do link down my coloring set that I have, but I'm just going through and adding some bluish gray to more of a cooler blue gray to my penguin and then a warmer gray for the white part of the penguin so like its face and stomach. I am bringing in a yellow orange color for the feet and beaks of my penguins and I also brought in a little bit of a pink peach color to add on the cheeks. I'm going to be using blues and kind of greenish teals to color in the beanie and the scarf. So here you can see um, I'm going along and experimenting with the colors and finding a set of three that I really like. So I have a blue, a teal, and then more of a green teal. So I think that they match pretty well with the salvage patina, broken china, and uncharted mariner colors that I chose. I just really wanted to have nice cute pastel penguins and then have the colors of them match the colors of my snowflake and my winter frame die um, cut out. So now I want to adhere these little penguins to the front of my card. I'm just going to grab some adhesive sheets. These are from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L and they're kind of like having a Xyron sticker machine thing. I don't have one of those, but it's the same kind of thickness of adhesive. So it's not like a scrapbook.com adhesive sheet. That is a thick piece of adhesive, very similar to their smaller like quarter inch rolls. This is like a sticker adhesive that you would have from Xyron. So as you can see, I trimmed a piece that would fit around my image. I peeled off the release paper, added the image down, really pressed on it so that way it would get that adhesive onto the back of my penguins and then I am peeling them off and the adhesive is sticking to the back of the penguins and I can toss away those excess pieces. I want my penguins to be holding hands. I think they're so cute or holding 
flippers. <laughs> so I am sticking them together and then I'm going to use my tweezers and my grid mat to help me center these cute little penguins onto the front of my card. Now they are kind of floating, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to ground them. I think they look really cute as is on the background. I'm going to grab the sentiment from that same Penguin Pals stamp set and this sentiment says Merry Wishes and I'm going to stamp it onto that scrap piece of that peppermint green um, smooth cardstock from my scrapbook.com pack and I'm going to stamp it using my Uncharted Mariner Distress ink this time and I used my Misty because I wanted to make sure that if I needed to stamp it twice which I do it would line up perfectly and my sentiment would look really nice. I'm going to clean up my stamps and then I will fussy cut around my sentiment very similar very similarly to how I cut around my penguins. So just grabbing my little paper snips here and I guess you could say bubble cutting around my sentiment. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with my penguins by adding adhesive to the back of my sentiment. And then I will adhere that down above my penguins center to the card. So I'll use my tweezers and the grid on my mat again to make sure I have my sentiment as centered as possible um, above my cute little penguins. So that's going to wrap up my card. Let's add it to a card base. I have a top folding A2 card base out of some ultra thick Nina solar white cardstock and I'm going to use some wet glue to adhere this down so I can make sure I get it nice and lined up as this is an A2 cover plate. So I want it to match up to the edges of my card base. I am grabbing some pops of color in a snowflake, which is basically a white glitter, and adding that to my little puffy ball on my penguin. I absolutely love the sound of that shaker card, and here is a final look at how cute these penguins are along with these snowflakes and this winter dye. I really love the softness of this shaker card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.